Day two, Mini Takes the States. It is a beautiful upstate New York day. Uh, 54, 55 degrees out. Sun, not a cloud in the sky, and about a thousand minis are gonna be parking right over here. We are at Vernon Downs, which <clears throat> is apparently a, a horse track and casino. And uh, it is also, as it turns out, an excellent place to start a mini rally. Let's talk about minis here. Um, lots of cool stuff. Lots of uh, lots of GPs. I'd say, when I think about like the cars, the percentage of cars made versus here, the highest by far has got to be the Roadster. It is a, they're everywhere. Um, never seen more Roadsters in my life. This one, a lot going on here. And then second, definitely GPs. An amazing amount, I mean 500 made, or well, I should say made for the US for this last uh, last generation. It'd be like 10% are here. Another Roadster. Another Roadster. Uh, day two at MTTS 2022 been four years and you bump into you know a lot of people including Pat McKenna who is uh, we just bumped into each we other. just bumped into each we other just happened to bump yeah here. yeah just randomly <laughs> I mean I didn't know you were in Vernon uh, New York I mean it's wild and we're when at the was same the last casino time you were in Vernon? same horse track well this is my favorite horse track so it's <laughs> it's an easy one for me uh, it's good to see you good to see you uh, so I, I bumped into you and you were at this at the moment literally trying to find a lifted mini right that's amongst this crowd yeah uh, first, I want to hear about that many and what caught your eye. But the second, like, like there are so many interesting things in this in this car park. Absolutely, it's, it's incredible. This is um, well. First of all, it's 20 years of many in the United States. Uh, this is actually 10 years of many take states for me personally. So I just love being out here. This is my fifth mini takes the states and part of what i love to do is just walk up and down these just aisles see just all. to see all the different colors color treatments when well, you're next to a classic from yeah, new zealand absolutely so this is a 1988 i learned all about this yesterday from new zealand uh and this is the chase car for it <laughs> <laughs> but you're always going to need a chase car for this and, it, and this is doing the, it's doing the entire thing I right i think so yeah it's incredible yeah 1988 um, from new zealand and then one of the things that i always i'm really curious about the people who lift the countrymen yeah and put roof boxes on it and just you know that that more rugged kind of look yeah. to it yeah it's just something you know just i always find curious and i'm always you know that's one of those things where you know that could influence maybe something we do in the future. And your your you just mentioned your MPS marketing product and strategy yeah. for Mini USA. Yeah. So keyword there is product, of course. Um, I think I think it's interesting that Mini yourself and I, I know designers in the past have come to MTTS and literally gotten ideas yeah, for, for future sure. products yeah. by just walking these rows of cars. Absolutely. And it also I think it gives you a sense of what cars over our last 20 years mm -hmm. have really become like truly iconic so you see a lot of roadsters here a lot of roadsters like on a i think you you coined an interesting phrase it's like on a per, per capita basis <laughs> you know uh it's the roadster is very very like over indexing in it, terms of its representation if here. you were to look at just the percent of roadsters here versus everything else you would assume that it was made for 12 years, yeah. multiple yeah, generations, etc. Yeah. Absolutely. You would, right. And that just shows, like, amongst the enthusiasts, it's really become a, a very, very coveted car. It's increased in value. Yeah. So I think, you know, just looking at something like that, it's just, we're always thinking about, I always describe it as the, the chessboard. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, you know, what other minis do we want to think about in the portfolio? Um, so it's just, you know, it's in the dreaming mode. So yeah, sure. yeah, that's really, really cool. A lot of convertibles. Um, a lot but, of GPs. Uh, yeah, a lot of GPs. We were talking about this again yesterday. A lot of GPs. I mean, it may be to stretch, but I feel like 10% of the last generation are here I on this so. trip. I think you're right. Uh, which is pretty wild when you think about and it. And that's where it's, this is also kind of like a, you know, a 2,000 person focus group, mm -hmm. you know? 
know, so it's also it's great to get feedback, great to hear from, from different people. So it's a, it's an incredible event for many reasons. I think you know uh, the fact that it's a it's a place for people to gather and meet each other, but also just the simple fact that people can connect with you and and connect with other folks within mini they can go over here and have many technicians look at their car at the mini service area um i think for for free i assume yeah to some degree yes. um you know it's 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 just a there's such an act of goodwill here that i think you can't help as a mini owner feel like really connected to this brand absolutely and Look, I know it's probably cliche amongst us, but as we say, it's the only car that comes standard with friends. And, right, and I think that, right. that was coined, I think, at a mini event, at least for me personally. But it really feels that way. And what's nice is I don't, I don't see egos. Mm -hmm. And I, that's still, it amazed yeah. me in the early days Very true. when I joined, but it, it still amazes me today. That there's Very a true. lot of, it's not my car's better than your car. So you could have a first gen car, and brand new cars and people are just there's a lot of mutual admiration mm -hmm. uh, so it's really nice to see it's just nice to see the whole community back together after this four-year hiatus yeah it, it's um, really true it's almost like i mean i see people i haven't seen in a while and it, nobody's missing a beat yeah you know everyone's very excited to be here but it, it feels like old times which is a also a cliche I think you know it's interesting you know you, you buy many you get you get friends with the purchase <laughs> is, is is really really true I think it's it's that's one of the things that makes me so happy having been a part of the early days of, of the community if you will to today that aspect hasn't changed there's no like you said there's no ego it's a very welcoming Absolutely. very diverse group yeah one of the things that uh, you mentioned yesterday which is blew my mind was that 55% of the registered folks for MTTS 2022 are new. Yeah, first, first one, timers. Right? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's that's pretty telling, I would say. In and terms it's, of and it's great from the perspective of it's it means we're getting the word out. It means there's new people being kind of indoctrinated, if mm -hmm. you will, into kind of this. Welcome, this, we'll say. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> indoctrinate. Yeah, that's probably yeah, a harsh term. Yeah. <laughs> But I say that with peace and love. Yeah, uh, yeah. But like, yeah, yeah coming into this amazing community, um, and and I think it, you know, hopefully then it starts a whole legacy for them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll let you uh, keep looking for that raise, right. that lifted many. Yeah, good chatting I'm, as I'm, always. I'm still. It's it's not well, easy to find a particular mini. Here. We'll go find. You know, <laughs> there's about a thousand, right? And so. you can't ask someone. You can't say, "Hey, I'm looking for a mini." Where I, I'm looking for them? a company, and that doesn't really narrow it down either. Well, anyway, well, yeah, let's let's, right. let's go find it. All right. So we are in VIP parking for press and mini folks. Over here is the tech center. This is a area where. Many is actually supporting folks with tech issues for their cars, with their cars, um, hopefully nothing serious, helping them kind of continue the rally as, uh, as any problem should arise. No, they don't have superchargers. So this is a, uh, this is a lineup, of course, and this is a, a constant stream of minis coming in. A little bit different than yesterday, of course. Um, this is not in rural Vermont. This is in a parking lot. Of course, makes it a little bit easier in a lot of ways, less dusty, um, but really, really, really cool to see this. And as you can see, we've got a full, a full crew here. Another day with, like I said, a thousand cars, an incredible collection of modified cars, modified minis, uh, stuff that's just, all of them, unique, really, really cool. And of course, our, our tireless friends supporting all of this. To me, we've been we've been looking at a lot of other cars uh, on our trip so far. We haven't looked at the car that I'm actually driving. Uh, I thought it'd be good to get a quick view of this thing because it's pretty special. This is a multi-tone roof with. This gorgeous chestnut brown interior, and naturally, it is a JCW. Really, really beautiful car. Uh, blacked out in every possible way except for the belt line. Uh, it is probably the first time I've seen 
the multi-tone roof really work well with the combo. Those red mirror caps with that red up front, really striking. Big fan, and of course, it drives fantastic. Yeah.